trailers are the best because it's sort of this concoction that's meticulously put together to try and captivate the audience into going to see the full-length film. As a viewer, it's a risk, a gamble even, a rush, but maybe just maybe it'll pay off in the end. And with a careful and well-trained eye, you might be able to spot the elements that tell you if a film is good or not. But I suppose that depends on the person's perspective, not the film itself. Hi, welcome back to Old Soul Podcast. My name is Bree. That's spelled B-R-E. I thank you so much. Today I'm doing another captivating trailer series. And the films that I'm going to talk about today, um, in terms of why the trailer is so inviting and interesting and imaginative and why we'll be going to see the movies when they come out. I believe by the time that I have this video published and out there, uh, one of the films, which is called The Watchers, will already be out. But just so we can start, you know, getting through this explanation of what this commentary or otherwise review or summary video is about. Okay, so the first film um, trailer that I'm really interested in in seeing the full film for is The Watchers. It's going to be released in 2024. It's going to be rated PG-13 and the runtime is an hour and 42 minutes. The director's name is Ishana Shyamalan. So with The Watchers, there's immediately a feeling of the people or the humans in the film being on this sort of stage with this wide open glass panel, or maybe it's like a large window, I'm not sure, where they can only see themselves, but they know that the creatures are watching, which you see in the film. There's even this quote statement, what's that noise coming from one of the main characters? And then someone responds to her and says, it's applause. And at that moment, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to go see this film. Obviously, I've at that point in the trailer, um, it sounds so out of place, this applause. So she has to ask, you know, what's that? What's going on? And to say it's applause and it's like this eerie sound and it's just so weird. And I was sold. And so some questions that I had after watching the trailer was, were these people kidnapped? Because clearly this is a horror film. Um, what are these creatures that we see in the trailer, and where are they exactly? Okay, so the next film trailer that interested me, it's called Long Legs. It's going to be released in 2024. It has a runtime of an hour and 41 minutes, and it's going to be rated R. The director's name is Oz Perkins. The sound effects in the trailer are eerie, with these moments of changing frames that are clearly meant to grab your attention, who should we be afraid of? I ask myself this question as the voiceover in the trailer states, I know you're not afraid of a little bit of dark, because you are the dark. Is the voice out of context since it's just the trailer, or, you know, is it simply taunting the main character, the said voice, creepy voice? Is this going to be a crime, horror, delivered in a, a bit of riddle with this evil villain character. I'm curious because of all the shots of like the detective reading things, the way that she speaks about the things that she's finding to it seems to be a superior. Like it's all very odd and interesting. Okay, and then the final film that I'm interested in seeing after the trailer is called Cuckoo. It's going to be released in 2024. It has a rating of rated R as well, and it is an hour and 42 minutes. The director's name is Tillman Singer. It's this feeling of this perfect neighborhood or otherwise well-off people who are seemingly very happy, and we're having this family that just moved in, and they have like a teen with them, or maybe she's not a teen, maybe she's like college age, but she seems to be still dependent on her parents in some way. And um, this specific young person notices that things are kind of off and she even brings it up. And it sort of seems like that gaslighting thing where things are weird. She's noticing it. She's being vocal and speaking up about it. And everyone else is sort of like, there's nothing wrong. Everything's fine. You know, and there's even a quote 
your family belongs here. And she says, like, you know, in one way or another, what the hell is that? Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> um, I enjoy when there's a character who is very much aware of the off-putting surroundings and they're in they're in it and they're like ready to get the hell out of there. Uh, but it does seem like, and most often in horror films, that they never leave because, you know, we got to watch a film, right? But also for her, it seems like maybe she's financially dependent on her parents, something like that. So it's interesting. It's interesting. Um, the scene that really got me was this main character's like riding their bike home on this really low key or low lit street, almost no light at all. And she or they have their headphones on. And they don't notice that this thing is, like, following them, chasing them, running after them. And then we see, like, a shot of it being almost by the back of her head. And I think she's about to turn and realize that someone's there. That was a moment where I was like, yeah, I'm going to go watch that. Thanks for listening to my Captivating Trailers episode. Hopefully uh, something about this will make you go watch the trailer. And then maybe in turn you'll go, you'll go watch the film as well. Enjoy. Bye.